So unfortunately, this one's not on Letterboxd, I guess because it was a miniseries with several episodes. But it's an adaption of the first half of the history of Trunks. And it's actually pretty good. Live action DBZ projects can be a bit of a mixed bag, right? This one does a couple things right. It's, it's very low budget, but they capture the scale and the intensity and the frenetic nature of the fights very, very well for their budget. Some of it looks really rough. Some of it looks surprisingly good. For example, a lot of the flying scenes in the first episode look kind of bad, but I see what they were trying to do. They reused several of those aerial shots of the capsule core building. The scene where Gohan dies against 17 and 18 is really well done and it's touching and the music is great. The visual effects look good. They capture the emotion decently well in those parts and I really appreciate that. Are the fights a little bit over edited in kind of a Michael Bay-esque inspired way? Yeah, they are. There's extreme close-ups. It's done in such a way where it's executed well that it doesn't bother me quite as much. There's some really interesting ideas to make this adaption stand out. For example, the viral heart disease is part of the reason that humanity got wiped out. The androids did most of it, Z fighters are all still dead, but it's pretty interesting to note that Goku's not the only one that got this viral heart disease, that anybody can die from it, even Gohan. That raises the stakes, that's an interesting idea expanding on the source material that doesn't really change anything in the sense of making it insulting. I also am just sad that it ended where it did, but I'm also okay with it because The Fall of Men is almost like an unofficial sequel to this that you can kind of headcanon to pick up where this leaves off. And that's what I did in my Dragon Ball Z fan edit, The Fall on Hope Saga, which is out now and you should watch it. But it was fun to include Light of Hope in this because it takes up a bulk of that fan edit I did. I will say the weakest aspect of this is the script and the performances. The dialogue seems like it was very rushed, um, probably fed to the actors on set, and the delivery of the actors, the performances of the actors, are probably what they were given and they did the best with what they could, but a lot of them are just weak. It's just very weak acting, even though the casting is mostly nailed. It's just a lot of the dialogue, a lot of the performances feel very forced and that could come down to the directing and then being more concerned with the action sequences. Now that being said, realizing something that's never been truly realized in live action while also trying to do groundbreaking effects on a shoestring budget with great casting choices, especially for 17 and 18, I can forgive that because I really enjoy this and I think it was a very commendable effort in translating Dragon Ball Z to live action and one of the best parts of Dragon Ball Z, the history of Trunks. I give Dragon Ball Z Light of Hope web series 3.5 out of 5 stars. We'll continue to review these live action projects with some vi bigger videos coming soon. Remember, always look for the good. Mm -hmm.